Kyla Renee and welcome or welcome back to my channel and as you can tell by the title I am doing my 2022 sneaker collection this has been a long awaited video and I know you probably like you just started YouTube like how's it long awaited but like when I was younger wanted to start YouTube like I used to always love watching sneaker collection videos I used to like make one I actually made one before like when I wanted to start my channel but I never like started but now I'm here I'm in the works of getting this channel together and I'm doing my 2022 sticker collection. Before I get into the video, I want to give y'all a little backstory. I would say like in high school or like early high school, middle school, um, I was like a mini sneakerhead. Like I used to love buying shoes. I had the sneaker apps on my phone waiting to see when they dropped. Like I was on it. Like it was every drop. I'm like, okay, can I get these? Can I didn't have a job then, so I was like, mama, can I get these? Can I get these? Ex auntie, uncle. Try to save my own little money doing cleaning around the house trying to get shoes. But as I got older, maybe like junior, senior year of high school, I realized like it was more stuff that I wanted instead of sneakers. So I did sell a lot of my shoes. Like I started um, selling them on Facebook Marketplace and stuff just to get um, like money to buy more stuff. Like I bought me a computer and then I bought this camera that I'm using for YouTube. Like it was just little stuff that I realized needed more funds towards and sneakers was just not a priority in my life anymore but i still have a decent amount so i'm gonna give y'all this sneaker collection and i feel like i'm about to get back into liking shoes more so i may start back um collecting shoes getting back into the sneakerhead moment but yeah that is it and we're just gonna hop right into this video make sure you like comment and subscribe and we'll hop right in this is the first shoe that i'm showing you guys today and these are the unc patent women's ones i hope i got that right but these are these shoes and this shoe um if you follow me on instagram you will see how i style these shoes on my page i only wore these once like yeah i only wore these shoes once it ain't it ain't nothing else really to these shoes but i do love them it's kind of hard for me to style i guess you'll say but like i said if you go to my instagram page you will see how i did pair these shoes with an the outfit but yeah these are the first shoes Okay, and here are some dunks that I have. I love these dunks. Have I worn these? I don't, I don't think I have, but if I did, no, no, no. Actually, I wore these once. I think I wore these once this past year. And these are the Michigan State dunks. These are very cute. Like, this is like, like the fall, winter type of vibe, I would say, that you would pair these with. But yeah, these are the Michigan State dunks. Next are the panda dunks these now these shoes i would say i definitely wore a decent amount of time you can kind of tell by like the the sole of the shoe i have these shoes and these come with a lot of memory like i've had these shoes forever i think i got these in middle school and you can tell like let me see oh uh, you can't even really, I can't even really show you, but they are definitely not all the way white anymore. Like right here on this part, it's kind of cream. I remember I tried to clean these by putting them in the washer and then putting bleach in the washing machine with it. And it just didn't, that was not right. Like that, that messed the shoes up, but these are still here in my collection. I may sell these because I don't know like when I would ever wear these shoes again. But these are definitely a classic. Like this is like when I started getting into my sneakers. And these are the closing ceremony 11 lows. Next, y'all, I have some 13s. These are the He Got Game 13s. And these are some really nice shoes. You will see later whenever I, I get those. I have the red and white ones as well. And they're kind of just like just different, you know, different colors. But these are some nice shoes i don't really think i have any stores behind them i know i've worn them maybe like once or twice or whatnot but these are the he got game 13s here are some shoes i do i would say i haven't worn them but when i look at the bottom it's like a little dirt at the bottom oh. maybe i've worn it once but here are the vogue i don't know if these are threes or fours i believe these are threes please don't charge them ahead y'all i'm telling you shoes have gotten out of my mind but these are the Vogue, whatever, like Vogue edition that Jordan did with them. These are very nice. I'm ready to put a fit with them when I can, but see, these are just a very nice shoe. This will be something I'll definitely wear in the winter though, not like during the summer or whatever, but these are definitely cute. And I just 
took this off by mistake, but I'll put that back on later. Next are some more 13 lows. And I think these are like the iridescent or, or something. Let me see. Let me look at the list that I have for the shoes. But, um, yeah, the, oh, Emerald. I knew it was something like that. These are the Jordan 11 Lowe's Emerald. And I definitely wore these shoes a decent amount, too. I kind of got these in a big, bigger size than I should have. Oh, no, I didn't. Well, I don't know why these have, like, this big old crease right here. But I thought they were used, but they used to be too big for me. Which they probably still are. I guess, like, certain shoes run different. But most of these shoes that y'all will see today in the video, anyways, are a five and a half or a six in youth. And these are a five and a half. But yeah, these still got like little dark marks on them or whatever. But this is like one of the shoes I wear like casually out on the weekend with friends, like going to the movies or like little stuff like that back in, I think, middle school or high school. I don't know exactly when I got these, but sometime during that time frame. Here are some 12s. These, I know these are waterproof. I know for sure these are waterproof because I used to always try to wear them like when it was a rainy day outside. And I like waterproof, but like you see the material or you can hear the material, like it's that type of material where it won't mess up the shoes if they get wet. But these are the, um, well, I don't even know how to say the name. I'm not even gonna try to say the name, but these are some 12s, okay? It's a good old 12. Next, here are the 13s that I was talking about earlier. That's kind of like the other 13s. And these um, are the Chicago 13s. And I did wear these a decent amount of time. But I feel like I don't like these big chunky shoes anymore. Like, you know, they just so like you know, I don't know, but once I'm finna get back into that mindset and lifestyle of sneakers and stuff and dressing in like streetwear and whatnot. So I probably will be able to pair these again once I do get to that time frame, you know. But these are the Chicago 13s. Another pair of dunks for y'all. And I have another pair of dunks for y'all, and this is the Pulse Purple Dunks. Purple Plus. Yeah. These are just some more dunks. And like I said, y'all, like, I really feel like y'all may be trying to come for me. Just don't come for me with these names. Please don't. Like, I'm not trying to disrespect none of y'all in the sneaker world. Just, just don't. Just, just not, not, don't come for me. Please don't come for me. But yeah, these are the, some more dunks. Purple Bottoms. You see, like, the the side or whatever yeah there you go like you see oh that don't look nice in the camera next i have some vapor max and i haven't worn these i just recently picked them up this summer if you watch one of my other videos i'll put it up here you'll see me picking them up and talking about them but well, these are just some vapor max some white these will definitely be some good shoes for the school year because my school campus is huge and i love how vapor max fill my feet when i'm walking so here's just some more vapor max i have some converse and these are some of my favorites. These are my Comedy Garçons Royal Blue Converse. And if you don't know, I'm in a sorority, Zeta Phi Beta, and our colors are Royal Blue and White. So these are definitely a shoe that I be pairing or will pair with like outfits that I have for my sorority. I have some just regular shoes, running shoes. And this is not, um, this video is not like my entire shoe collection. So I don't have like Crocs or workout shoes or sandals or anything like that in this video but these i wanted to show these because these are like tennessee edition which is my school and these are very cute like when you're walking around campus or being like a team orientation leader or whatever the case may be these would be a good shoe to walk around with like i got the ut spirits i have some cortez these are red blue and white and apparently i have never worn these and i know for sure i have worn them because these bottoms are crystal clear and it still has the paper in it but I know for sure I had these for about a good two, two, three years. But yeah, here are some Cortez. I have some ones, and I believe these are called the Mocha ones. And I love these shoes. Go on my Instagram page, you will see how I paired them again. And these are just very cute. Like, I love me a good one. And yeah, this is a very cute shoe. Next, I have some sixes, y'all. And I have a story behind these shoes like i i was in i believe i was in eighth grade it was either eighth or ninth grade and we were at the fair and we was at the fair here in memphis tennessee that's where i'm from and we're just regularly walking around chilling and then people just got the shoes and like people just got the shoes and everyone just started running and i had these shoes on running and if anybody has worn these shoes they'll know they're not like the most comfortable jordan out here more specifically for me because of the back 
But baby, when I say these shoes got me from point A to point B, it got me to where I need to be when I was running from the shootout. But yeah, that is all I really have with these shoes. Probably will never wear these again. Might be a shoe I'm selling. So if you want it, comment down from below, text me, let me know. But these are a size five and a half. X, I have some regular Converse and I wanted to include these in this sneaker collection because like the platform and the platform portion of Converse just gives me like like streetwear or like know how to dress type of vibe but I've never worn these before. I want them like outside the house but not to go anywhere so I got a little marks on it but these are a cute shoe to pair like on a cute casual outfit. Next I have some 12s and I believe these are the wolf 12s or the wool gray. Let me let me look real quick just so I won't mix them up for y'all. These are oh well I was wrong. City pack should wait, that's not right. Oh I was right. Okay. No, wait, no, it wasn't. These are the dark gray 12s. And I have the wolf 12s in my collection as well. But these are the dark gray 12s. And I remember pairing these with some outfits back in the day, but I haven't worn them recently, not at all. But yes, these are the gray twelves. I think these are threes. I'm pretty sure these are threes. These are not fours. I don't always have like trouble with threes and fours, and I'm not exactly sure the name of them. But here's just another gray, black, and white three, I believe. And I do wear these shoes. Like I wore this shoe this past year, or whatever. But yeah, here are these. Jordan 3's. We have some um, blazers for y'all. And these blazers are so cute. Like I said, I go to University of Tennessee still. So having the orange at the bottom, the orange on the side for the soup is at, and the orange on the tongue just comes in handy like for game days, basketball games, football games, and anything of that nature. But some blazers. I have another pair of Converse and I only worn these one time and it was on the first day of school and I said these hurt my feet so much. Like they hurt my feet so much and it's probably because that was really my first day walking around my school's campus and it was like dang like oh my goodness. And then I had on all black. It, it just wasn't a good idea but they're cute. They're definitely very cute and I would definitely be trying to pair these with something in the future. Next I have some nines and I believe these are the Kobe 9 23 yeah, I've worn these before, but rest in peace to Kobe. But yeah, have some Kobe nines. I believe these are just regular Air Max, whatever. Yeah, these are just regular Air Max. They kind of stink, but <laughs> this might be TMI. But yeah, these are just a regular Air Max. These are comfortable to walk around in. Next, I have some more Converse, and these are very interesting red blue and green never worn these haven't figured out what i'm gonna wear with them yet kind of forgot i even had these in my collection until i got ready to do this video but yeah here are some converse another pair of converse i don't know why is this just the, the converse time right now but here are some low um low low converse low no what i'm trying to say low platform converse yeah these are some low platform converse i've never worn these one of my friends wore these though. She had to do, like have a white shoe for performance, so I let her wear these. I don't know why I kind of bought these. I don't know what I would wear these with, but yeah, so white platform Converse. Next, I have another pair of Converse. These are like the leather material. I know they're not real, real leather, but I don't know if you can kind of tell. But these are super cute. Like I love these shoes. Like I pair them with like my brown tail far as well, and they have like a orange dress on or like a. Something, but these definitely go well when I wear my brown Converse. I have some more dunks. These dunks, I wore it once to literally go to McDonald's at like three o'clock in the morning, and I never wore them after that. This is why you tell your phone do not to start when you're doing videos because you don't want to be seeing messages that you don't want to see. Next, I have some blazers, just some plain black and white blazers, nothing special to them. Don't even think I'm wearing these bottoms are squeaky clean but yeah black and white blazer Next, i have some cortez and these baby these are these are might as well just throw these away like i use these as party shoes it's two of these shoes in the collection i use it like party shoes when i first got to college so i didn't know like 
how to really dress for parties and like not get what you want like not dress like a baddie but dress like a baddie but not get your shoes dirty so like it was just these shoes that i reverted to for like almost every party just to wear these are definitely bent up and these are in a five and a half and it was kind of a little tight on my foot but not too much but yeah here are these shoes i have another pair of blazers and these blazers are maroon and i love these i have a maroon tail far that i just paired with these shoes not too long ago that was my first time wearing that tail far and my first time wearing these shoes and it was really cute like the maroons and both of them fit very well like went wear very well together but yeah some blazers next i have some more twelves, and these are the wolf gray twelves that i was talking about that i mistaken for the other shoe but yeah these have some memories in it as well but don't see myself wearing these anytime shoe soon so if somebody want to get them off me let me know these are a size five and a half you i have some nines and are these nines yes these are nine lows and let me get the name for y'all because i definitely don't know this name this is Pat patron correct me if i'm wrong but patron patron nine lows yeah that's that's not even issues <laughs> i have another pair of vapor max just some blue vapor max these are my very first pair. okay we had a quick intermission these are the vapor max that got me started liking vapor max whatever these are just a blue i don't know this exact shade of blue but these are very love these I think I think Vapor Max has the second number, so maybe they. I, I'm not even gonna try, but these are definitely some Vapor Max that I love. I have some tens, and I don't even think I had to look these up. Like these are one of the first pair of shoes I got, and I remember I got these tens with some other navy blue tens, which are a pair of shoes I did sell. But I bought these two together. I think they released like the same day or like a day, like right behind each other, or whatever. But these should be the Chicago 10s. But I'm going to look to double check. And if I get these right, I'm definitely going to be happy. But let me see. Hold on. Well, shoot. Yeah, I think these are right because I didn't even have them in the notes. But these should be the Chicago 10s. Yeah, it says shy right there on the side. So these should be the Chicago 10s. These shoes, like, even, like, if somebody wants these, maybe I'll send them to them. But these are, like, an OG in my collection. Like, these are, like, I hold near and dear to myself, so it's like, why would I sell something that you know that got you started with your sneaker journey or got you started like liking shoes or dressing up? But these are definitely that shoe for me, for sure. I have, I don't even know what these are. I think these are some mids. I think these are mid. They are, you see the color, whatever. I don't really have too much to say about these. Next are some, um, I included these in my collection instead of making them like um running shoes or whatever i don't know why but these are cute there are some air max as well i believe um nike react that's what it says on the side but these are cute like the color is very vibrant and this gives me like college girl aesthetic for sure next are some air max 97s i hope i'm right but these should be some air max 97s and they're just like a tan color type of shoe this also gives me like college girl running errands type of vibe but yeah not too much to say about that then here are the blazes that i was talking about my boy i was talking about another shoe that's like my party shoes these are it and i don't know why i make these on party shoes they're super cute like the check mark the nike sign is leopard leopard print and they're like a little off-white tan vibe well i don't know if they're off-white because i got them dirty but <laughs> that's what they are right now it's like an off-white vibe but yeah these are very cute but these are definitely probably shoes now like get dirty don't care about shoes next i have some more regular nikes i don't want to just keep calling every regular nike air max but yeah there's some regular nikes that are super cute purple yeah just cute cute vibes and i have a converse a black and white platform converse and i don't know if you can tell but i love platform shoes i'm 411 so like just having a a platform vibe just make a short girl a little tall like it just gives me it's cute even tall girls wear platform shoes and it looks really good like platform just look good on a lot of people to me so there's another platform classic black converse and then i have some harachis all pink harachis these are the only harachis i still have in my collection which i don't i don't even know well i just got these actually but all my other harachis i gave away like the white ones red ones 
black and white like those are definitely far gone for my collection then i have some more ones i don't know if these are mids or not i think they're regular ones i don't know but they're gray just some gray like silver gray ones and i just got these recently and when i say recently i mean like a year ago or whatever or maybe it's a couple months when i say you cannot have a sneaker collection you can't ever consider yourself a sneaker head or have a sneaker collection or got shoes if you don't have a pair of classic white air force like it don't even make sense for you to have a sneaker collection and you don't have a pair of classic white air forces like like you gotta you gotta make it make sense so these are just my regular classic white air forces this is probably my second pair of air force and i usually only wear these when we have like throwback day or dress like the 90s or like occasions like that like i don't wear these purposely just to drip in but you gotta have in your collection there's another pair of air max these are orange and black and i did purposely get these for school ut gotta have colors to support next is some more converse and these are super cute to me like on this side it's this type of pattern and on that side is this type of pattern and it has a hint of pink in it like these are just cute girl like i feel like that fits the kyla vibe like these are cute super wait hold on yeah there you go super duper cute <laughs> have i think these are threes <laughs> i don't know y'all I, I think these are threes for sure i think i don't think these are fours but these are threes well actually i think i have a i think i have these in my notes so let me double check before i get anything else wrong on this camera and people start coming for me because i don't Got these shoes right. Okay, yeah, these are the purple dust Jordan threes. These are cute. Me and my best friend, we have these. We have these alike, and I remember one day like these matched together. You know, like when you're young, you used to. It's wear the same shoes. Let's match. Let's do that. So, these are these shoes. Then next, I have some fives, and these fives, like you see right here, like I didn't even say nothing else. These were worn out. These ones are like OG in my collection as well. But who wanna sell these? Like this is the one that has the Nike Air on the back instead of the um the Jordan sign on the back. But yeah, here are some fives. Hey y'all, this is the last shoe in my collection. I didn't say the best for last, but this is one of my favorite shoes in my collection. It's ironic that this is the last shoe. But here are some dunks, y'all. And if you follow me on Instagram, you will see how I paired these shoes. These pictures popped off. Like, not popped off, pop off, but they popped off. This is, like, the first picture I posted in my college. And I think my caption was New Kid on the Block. And I had these shoes with a terrifier bag. Like, that, that picture here. And that's still on my page, so you can go look at these shoes. But the name of these dunks are the uh, free, free 99 dunks. And these shoes are live. Like, I love them. Like, just look at it. Like, it's just so many ways you can pair this because it has so many different colors in it. And it's like all the colors mesh together. So it's not like it's too far out the spectrum to have like this color with this or this with that. Like, these just, these definitely match with anything. But yeah. And then look at the bottom. Like, it's just, these shoes are perfect. It's just perfect shoes. But yeah, you guys, that is the end of today's video. I really hope y'all enjoyed. If y'all want an entire shoe collection, which would include Crocs sandals designer slides um what other type of shoes like running shoes regular nike shoes like things like that let me know because i still have a lot of more shoes that i can show y'all so just let me know if you want an entire shoe collection video down in the comments you can dm me text me on tiktok comment down below just do anything just let me know but i really really hope y'all enjoyed the video make sure you like comment and subscribe turn on post notifications Send this video to your friend and tell your friend to send this video to their friend and their friend friend send a video to their friend friend. Like, just keep the train going. Like, support your girl. We are all trying to go up. So support me, y'all. I hope y'all really enjoy and I will talk to y'all later. Bye. Another way to live be much stronger. But I was trying to be with you much longer. I don't need nobody else, you know.